Hello everyone, Sigma Later here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Let's go and hire Dane Krios. Alright, what we got here? Uh, there you are. And then there we go. More credits, thank you. Anything over here? No. Hey, buddy. Help. He's still alive. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you, and why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Asana wanted us out of the way immediately. Then <coughs> the dogs. <coughs> He's not going to make it if we don't help him. Here, that should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. Thank you. That helps. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs the sun has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friend, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Yay! Let's get moving. Right, anything around here? No. Yes, just you do. Deploying combat drone. Um. Uh, anyone else? I see you.
Um. There we go. Got one. Good job. Make sure I haven't missed anything down here. There's more workers to find. I can't remember if there's more on this floor or if they're further up. Not going to question how you got through that, got through that vent. Good, they're all taken care of. Perfect. Thank you. All right, you're not okay. Go in here. Hey. 
Hello. Please, don't kill us. We'll go, we'll go. Hey, look, they're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here. When he found us, I thought we were dead. But he just closed the door and locked us in. Locked you in? Sounds like our assassin was trying to keep them safe. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. Nasana's not exactly your favorite person? She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. <laughs> Get moving! True. She does sound like a heartless bitch. Well, we know she is. Alright. There's one group. I'm pretty sure there's another group of survivors somewhere. Ooh, new sniper rifle. Alright, what have you got for me? That one, that one. And that one. Perfect. Alright, let's head up. Uh, if I remember rightly. I'm going to ground. Got it. This is going to be a trap. We're a little exposed out here, especially if anyone's in that elevator. Perhaps we should find some cover. There we go, that was easy. Ish. I haven't heard from teams four or five. Don't worry, my team's always ready to go. I don't know where he is. Not yet. Don't worry about it. Turn around, very slow. Damn it. <laughs> Have you seen the assassin? Why are you looking for him? You're not one of Nasana's mercs. Who are you? Tell me where the assassin is. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me, my team's... Bye. 
How about goodbye? <laughs> Harsh. Uh, I guess he had it coming. I don't normally do that one. Well, I'll give it a try. Ah, there we go. Just the information for the uh, Carosa family. We need that. Try this. Firing eye impact shot. Interesting sniper rifle. I'm not sure I like that one. Switch back to this. That one hit. Yeah, I'd say it did. Ah, here we go. The other survivors. Perfect. Shoot! Relax. Don't do anything you'll regret. I don't want to hurt you, but I will. I said get back. I'll do it. Please, don't make me do it. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. What's your name? I... I'm Talon. Don't... Don't come any closer. Talon, I'm Commander Shepard. I don't work with the mercs and I don't want to hurt you. I'm here to help. I... All right. Here. I uh, don't feel so. Tell him. He's my brother. I just want to see if he's all right. Are you the ones who shot the Merc? It wasn't me. Your brother didn't do it? No. Tell him was standing here with me. What happened exactly? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. A perfect headshot, but no collateral damage. Very impressive. How safe is that bridge out there? The bridge is stable, but the wind's your real problem. If it doesn't throw you off, the Mercs will definitely try. There's a lot of them out there. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this Merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit on edge. I haven't seen anyone but the Mercs. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. There are still Mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Talon, come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah. We're getting out of here. Thank you. Yay! Okay, that should be all of them. Shit. There we go. More moolah for me. I'm afraid your men aren't able to respond. Ha! <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. Heavy fire. 
And if you don't mind, I don't matter. Alright. Grab that. Grab you. Um... Switch to that one. I don't really use the shotgun. I'll stick with the particle beam. There we go. Anything else here? No. There we go. Perfect. Right, here we are at the bridge. We can use this. Scan that. Jet. Give me the one I need, thank you. Uh, one more, no. Perfect. Uh, no. Disruptor ammo. Send the drone out. Hmm, <laughs> this is not the best rifle. Uh, switch to this. That one taken out. Cool. 
Right. It's Switch just going down. There we go. What the hell am I paying you for? To die, apparently. go right dropped anything over here no well that was an uphill battle and the sauna shepherd but you're dead i got better <laughs> now you're here to kill me I'm not an assassin, Miss Anna, but I am looking for one. You break in here and decimate my security just to find the person who's here to kill me? What are you playing at, Shepard? What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... <laughs> Hi, Thane. Impressive. You certainly know how to make an entrance. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize, but prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. She certainly was wicked. Not for her, for me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's Progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They told me it was impossible to get to Ilos, too. A fair point. You built a career on performing the impossible. This was to be my last job. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying. Are you contagious? How long do you have? <laughs> if you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. I hadn't heard that. Is there anything I can do? Giving me this opportunity is enough. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. 
I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. Yeah! We got Thane! The Assassin. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Obviously he is too. He's doing this mission gratis. What's your concern? I don't like mercenaries. An assassin is just a precise mercenary. An assassin is a weapon. A weapon doesn't choose to kill. The one who wields it does. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected as an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. Oof, Jacob. Harsh. All right, let's go and have uh, one of our chats see who's up for a little conflap. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved, reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn, sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region, subject yawns in response. Social empathy. Also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly by your standards. Don't live much past 40. I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Helped preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography bit. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case. Regardless. Thank you. You are welcome, Morden. All right, let's see if Jacob has any other issues or if he's all good still. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. I'm good, Shepard. Ready for anything. We'll talk Commander. later. Commander. All right, he's pretty much just going to repeat that from now on. Fair enough. Right, let's go talk to Joker, see if he has anything to say about Thane. Collectors were once Protheans, repurposed by the Reapers. What a sad end. 
It makes you wonder if the keepers on the Citadel were once something different. Probably were. Hey, Joker. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks. Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I assume everything is going well up here. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. Going on to the next floor, check in on Thane, see how he's doing. Received a new message at your private terminal. Thanks, Kelly. They'll have to wait for a bit. God, it's getting warm in here. Uh, Thane, I think, is in here. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. Are you going to be alright until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in human environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider, the ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the Collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Excellent. 
Roger Bay, engage 100 probe capacity and additional probes. Yes! Cool. Alright. Yeah, I think we're... Tally and Grunt will pretty much say the same stuff now. I could have talked to Jack, but she can wait, I guess. Uh, or Oriana. I hope this is the right Commander Shepard. I'm Oriana. My sister only told me a little, but I don't think it occurred to her that I'm as smart as she is. I poked around a little and found an information broker who got me this address. Probably Liara. I got to thank her, but I never got to thank you for helping me. My parents don't really understand it, but I know how much Miranda did. How many little things over the years here or there uh, were her looking out for me. I'm not going to tell them I still want to go to school and get some degrees, but I wanted you to know that I know you saved me. I had a guardian angel all these years. I don't know if my sister has anybody. She said she's working for you, and it was pretty clear that you were doing something dangerous. Make sure she comes back alive, okay? Oriana. P.S. Don't tell her I sent you this. It will just make her angry. P.P.S. Miranda, quit looking at Shepard's messages. Oh, don't act like you don't. It's what I do. Ha! I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it. And he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Cheers, Kelly. All right. Let's get on. Why am I over here? Yay, 60 probes now. All right. Let's go and recruit Samara. There we go. And we can gift the data pad to that uh, Solarian as well while we're at it. There he is. Listen, I'm in gear. What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Corosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Why is this data so important anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Corosa family. It's used for high-level reproductive negotiations. It would be like a human pedigree I suppose without it you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position losing this would have hurt my family for generations maybe even destroyed it if this data is so important why didn't you have backups we did a rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy the virus destroyed all our data I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy we live in a world of infinite data redundancy to lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Ah. Yeah. Good for him. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh. You're the one she was helping out. She took a job off-world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend... 
friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him, I'll buy him a drink. <laughs> Excellent stuff. All right, now on to Samara. Goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. Cool. Ah, you're the undercover cop. You're sh Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. <laughs> you told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to, uh, stop the red sand dealers. I softened up the bar owner, but you need to go in and finish them off. Really? Are you sure? Absolutely. You just need to close the deal. Go in, be tough, and let them know you're with me. They'll hand the deed right over. Well, great. Here, I'll set you up for a discount. Thanks for the help. <laughs> ah, hilarious. We can use this. Thank you for the discount. Let's abuse that right right oh right away. All right. All blue rows of Ilium. Let your roots dig deep into the hot soil of Tachanka. What do you want? Sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Is that Krogan bothering you? No, no, you don't need to hurt him or anything. Oh, He's harmless, which I know, Krogan, Let's so it's roots, hard to believe. Baby. His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. <laughs> Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogans live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. Uh, no offense. <laughs> it made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. He can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. You have blossomed in a tower that sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been Asari. Non-Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? He's a fun guy. Really smart. Especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. Ah, Commander Shepard. Killing rapers, fixing relationships. <sighs> Definitely need to put that on the old CV. More fish. More models. Perfect. Alright, we're not going to get Samara done in this episode. But we no, can finish this. I haven't had any luck yet. Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. 
I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it, and saved me. I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true, but we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes, the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. Wait a minute. Shiala, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. This is the part of the uh, Zeus Hope thing that we we should have had the email from uh, Lisbeth after doing this. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of you. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy. The other was a greeter for the consort. And we met both of them. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. 
The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I I'm not. I, I didn't. Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. There we go. Ooh, star charts. Yes, we'll grab these. All right, let's go talk to Shiala. Star charts. Yeah, I had. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus' hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. <laughs> you are Shepard. Just pulling in all the ladies, aren't you? And with Tally right there as well. Oh well. For now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.